at one point or another, this is probably in your collection. Classics, Deluxe, Class, Megatron. Today, I'm going to review those. With a few of you not in the know, this Deluxe Class Megatron was indeed part of the original Classics line as part of a two-pack with Optimus Prime. Now, one thing I should mention is that yes, it is a tank, not a gun, that was done later as the Voyager, which everybody's more familiar with and more willing to keep in their collection. Another thing I should mention is that the that the two-pack of both this Optim of Optimus and this Megatron here was reissued multiple times. In fact, I have seen a few reviews where this is actually in the Hero G2 Megatron colors. It's basically the same figure no matter what you do or what color it's in. But is it any good? Let's find out. <clears throat> Let's see here now. As for gimmicks, well, he does have little rolling wheels. That's something. He also has a gun. <clears throat> right here, which makes a bit more sense in his uh, robot mode. The turret can rotate, although it's a bit of a uh, slop job. And, well, that cannon's much more of a Godzilla Irritator type of tank now, isn't it? If that excites you. Okay, moving on to transformation. First, we will uh, unpeg the arms here and fold them out. Well, more like that way, because we've got a bit of work to do here. Then we will turn the turret this way, so that Megatron is facing forward. Yes, that is a very nice bucket head with some very nice light piping, so there's a plus there. Okay, then we fold all this down and around. <clears throat> okay, okay. Had my fun, moving on. Okay, then we just kind of fold all this out from the back here. Fold apart the feet, like so. Give him the gun in this hand, and... I'll pull the legs. Put that down. It's voila. <clears throat> Deluxe class tank Megatron from Classics in robot mode. Here in robot mode we see something of a uh, departure from his G1 self. Also a departure from his previous uh, tank alterations. With significantly improved articulation. Get into that later. As for gimmicks, let's see here now. We uh, move this arm outward. Pull this part out. And so I'll take this part down here. And yes, Billy, it spins. Speaking of that articulation, see now the head does rotate. <clears throat> see now, kind of, kind of a mushroom peg uh, joint on the <clears throat> part one part of the shoulders here. You can fudge with the art with the transformation joint to get uh, some outward movement on that. But you've also got that articulation. Anyway, for the shoulder, so that kind of nullifies that. It's in a mushroom peg. Bicep swivel on with a 90 degree elbow. Waist does rotate, so you got something there. Ball jointed hips with another mushroom peg uh, thigh swivel. Almost 90 degree um, <clears throat> knee joint, and while well, the foot can pivot forward or backward. Nothing for the arms, well, at least the uh, hands, anyway. Well, primarily because he's only got the one, and you've kind of seen what the other had to do with the other one. So, there is articulation to be enjoyed, it's just, well, not exactly the most spectacular thing. Now, one thing I should mention is that I got this uh, figure at a particularly amazing discount. I wouldn't recommend getting it otherwise, it's very, it is kind of... It is an effective toy, but not exactly something you should be paying top dollar for. So if you see them at a, at a clearance sale or somebody's clearing, clearing out their collection and you see this, uh, I would definitely at least consider picking this figure up. If, if you can get him for like, again, if, I hate to say this, but if you can get him for cheap, he's actually a fairly competent toy. If you have to pay retail or higher for him, especially today's retail prices, you probably want to wait. Unless you really, really want this thing. Anyway, I'm the Deceptive Wolf. This has been Classics Deluxe Class Megatron. And again, I remind you all, free your mind, free your toys.